In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an international language support to your mobile application or how to add localization support, how to make your app localized to a different uh, international language. For example, uh, let's say you have a mobile app in English language and you're planning to um, launch it on a Chinese market. So how do we um, translate user interface or mo mobile application to a different language? So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to uh, add uh, localization support for your uh, storyboard and user interface. And I'll also, uh, I'll also show you how to add uh, localization support to uh, for other resources like images, for example, or other string values. Okay, so let's have, uh, we have an application and this application has some user interface. Uh, I have only a one view controller and a very simple user interface, but it does have some labels, some values that can be translated in a different language. Uh, for example, first name can be translated. And if I um, run it uh, on a different market, first name in Chinese or German or French will be, uh, will need to be phrased differently. So first name, last name, and a label uh, on the a button run uh, can also be translated. Okay, so to add a localization support for your uh, mobile application, we will uh, start by going to uh, my localized app, the project group. And then uh, under the project, I uh, will have to select info. And under info, I can see that I have localizations option here. I have language at this moment I have only one language English and if I want to add support for other languages I'll have to click on this uh, plus button so I click on plus button and I uh, can choose a language that I would like to add support for the only other language I can uh, speak uh, is Russian so I will look for Russian language here here it is so I will add support for la Russian language from my mobile application Okay, uh, and uh, main storyboard is selected and launch screen is selected, which is good. And I click on finish. And I see that uh, support for Russian, uh, Russian language is added. Now, if I look uh, here on the left side, I'll see that main storyboard now has uh, an arrow point in here. So if I uh, expand that main storyboard, I can see that I have main storyboard, which is base or uh, development language and uh, I have first name and last name here but I also have main strings uh, here which is in Russian so if I switch here I see different picture I see that um, I have a comment here uh, letting me know that I have a UI label and that label has a text first name and I can translate that text if I change this value same for last name and same for button if I had other UI elements uh, on my um, on my user interface, I would have more uh, in this file. So let's say I can, uh, let's say I need to translate this into Russian language. So I will switch from Canadian English to Russian and I will uh, try typing um, uh, the, uh, I don't have Russian keyboard, uh, so I will have to guess uh, like this. So this is your first name. And this is your um, last name. Okay, and um, the run button, I'll uh, call it like this. And now I'll switch back to English. Okay, so let's say I've translated this. And now if I run it, it should have a different language um, on my user interface. But there's another, um, a quick way to preview a quick way to preview the translated user interface is to turn on this um, preview assistant editor and then turn on assistant editor and then expand preview go to automatic and then look at uh, look for preview select preview and you'll see that at the bottom bottom right corner you have english selected uh, as your development language so if you click on English, you'll see that uh, you can choose other language to preview user interface in. For example, I'll select Russian and I can see how my user interface is, um, is looking when it is translated into Russian language. 
There is another option which is a double lens uh, to the language and what it does if I select this every single value on my um, original storyboard will be doubled so for those languages that are um, that have words uh, a lengthy words that might not fit I can see how they um, I can see if I run into any issues for example I see that run button uh, is might have some problems so I might want to expand it a little bit then center and then uh, also reset to suggest the constraints okay and then once after I uh, previewed uh, user interface in the language I want to I want my application to support I can also run it on device that has um, that has a language target language set so uh, to run it on simulator, for example, with a Russian language uh, selected, I will need to edit the schema of this application. So I will um, click on my localized app. This is the name of my project. So you'll have a name of your project here. So click on it here and then click on edit schema. And under edit schema, you want to select run, run option, the back. And under um, options here, we have info, arguments, and options. Under options, we can choose application language, which is different, or we can choose application region to test localization for a particular region. So uh, I will um, choose under application language, I will choose instead of system language, I'll choose Russian and close it. And now if I run my application on iPhone 5, I should see user interface set to the uh, Russian language. So I have my application up and running and I see that it's in Russian. And now if I stop it and I change schema back to, uh, let's say, system language, which is English in my case, and run it again, I should see user interface in English language. Here we go, it's working. Okay, uh, another very nice option um, to know is that sometimes when your application is, let's say you have it completed, done, and it has so many views, it has so many um, resources and strings, uh, string values to be translated. There are agencies out there that help you translate your entire application, but uh, you need to expert, you need to uh, let that agency work on your um, on, on, transla on translation of your mobile application without messing up or without breaking your code. So what you can do, you can export your, um, your application for translation or for uh, localization. And uh, to do that, you can select your project here on the left side, and then I'll close on the right side. Okay, so you, you can select your project and then go to editor and then you can export for localization. And if I click that, it will invite me um, to well, choose a destination where I want to export my project for localization. And I'll save it on desktop. And now if I go to my desktop and open that file, let's say here's my localized app, it will contain uh, the uh, target language uh, the language I need uh, my applica application to be localized. And if I open this, let's say in a text view, like let's say I like brackets, uh, to see what it is there. Okay, then I can see that there's lots of uh, uh, XML code, uh, say, and um, you don't need to. Um, worry about every single element of it the translation agency uh, do know the format and what they need to translate that they, they will uh, figure out their way here just uh, send this file to them and they will look at uh, the values that they need to translate and once the translation and done is done they will send this uh, file back to you and all you need to do is uh, you can import it back uh, into your application and once done, you should have a translated uh, user interface.
Okay, so uh, this is it for the uh, main storyboard.